Good morning, K1B. It's Miss Duplessis. I'm back again for learning at home. We have a special activity for today. We're going to do a letter hunt, which you are all experts at. And we are going to use things that you find at the grocery store. So I know you all know your letters like M and B, but today we're going to go on a letter hunt for some tricky letters. You ready to get started? Let's go. Okay, K1A, let's see what I found at the grocery store today. Oh, I have some yogurt here, but if you look at our front cover, I'm looking for one of our tricky letters. The letter W. W. Okay, my letter detectives, can you find the letter W? There it is, the letter W, hidden right there. For our next tricky letter, we're looking for the letter Y. The letter Y. Take a look. See if you can find it. And there it is, the letter Y. W and Y, some of our new letters that we have been learning. All right, let's see what else we found at the grocery store. <gasps> oh, tomatoes, Miss Duplessis favorite vegetable, or should I say fruit? It is a fruit. Let's take a look. These are diced tomatoes. And on this cover, I am looking for the uppercase H. The uppercase H. Can you find the uppercase H? There it is right there, boys and girls, the uppercase H, that's right. Sometimes we forget that's the one that makes the H sound like house, hut, home, the uppercase H. Very good. Let me see, I'm gonna give you one more challenge. Can you find the lower case N? The lower case N. There it is, boys and girls, the lowercase n. Bonus points if you were able to find the uppercase n as well. Nice job. Let's see what else we have in our market basket bag. Oh, a little breakfast food. We are looking for on here, boys and girls. Let me see, I have those two letters we talked about before. W and H on this front cover. Could you find the uppercase W and the uppercase H? And they are right there sitting right next to each other. Bonus points if you notice there's actually two uppercase H's. Boys and girls, take a little moment at this time. I would like you to tell someone at home another letter that you know. It might be a letter in your name. It might be one of your favorite letters. It might be a letter that we use all the time, like M, C, R, A, or T. All right, here we go on our hunt. What else do we have? Oh, the frijoles, boys and girls. Beans, this type of bean is a, a white bean. But let's take a look at our front cover. Let's take a look. I spy, my letter hunters, the uppercase G. The uppercase G. Now there are actually two uppercase G's on here. See if you can find them. There's one right here, boys and girls, the uppercase G, but also in the front, this is a fancy way of making the uppercase G. You might notice that on a lot of containers, bottles and cans, the letters all look a little different. So it's important to see 
This is the uppercase G, and this is the uppercase G. We also have a fancy uppercase Y. See how it looks a little different on this one? Nice job. Let's see, we got one more thing from the grocery store. Oh, some of you might be saying spaghetti. It is, this kind of spaghetti is actually called linguine. Let's take a look at our linguine. We are actually looking for the uppercase L. Uppercase L. Take a moment and find it. There is the uppercase L. Now, bonus points if you can find the lowercase L. The lowercase L. I'll give you a hint, boys and girls. It's actually in this name over here. The lowercase L. Take a look. That's right, there are two lowercase l's right next to each other in the name of this. We have one more challenge, boys and girls. We are going to find our lowercase i. Where is lowercase i? Go ahead and point to it. It's right there, our lowercase i. If you would like a bonus, a way to challenge yourself, there is actually some uppercase I's in this name right here. There are quite a few uppercase I's. If you wanna take a moment, we are looking for the uppercase I. And it's right there, boys and girls. This is one way you can write the uppercase I. It kind of looks like the number one. So go ahead when you are at your house and when your parents come home from the grocery store and an adult comes home, go ahead and look at all those things they bring home and tell your parents what letters you know. You can pick any container, box, or can up and tell your parents what letters you know so well. Nice job, K1B, and I'll see you next time.